All right, so this is a long awaited video. This is going to be about the AG Tour training camp. We're going to go on Shampozan. Doesn't have all his data, but I think he's really strong. As you saw in my last video, he did seven watts per kilo for close to 20 minutes. And he generally goes pretty well at the beginning of the season. So th this is like, if we look at last year, he's um, finished second in Fon Ardesh Classic, which is, a cla which is a very strong result. Um, if we look at the people like David Gaudu, Hugh Carthy, all the rest of them. So very good early season. Um, and he's t lining up for GP Marseille, which is this weekend. So it'd be interesting to see what he does on a training camp, like two weeks out to see how they prepare. Uh, now, this is a Strava. He doesn't have every single ride up, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but nonetheless, he has, um, he has most of his rides up. So this is the first day. So four and a half hours, 220 watts. So nothing too crazy. There was like one effort on um, this climb here, I think, uh, where they sort of did like stepped on a bit, 300. You can see on the left here. To, uh, 20 minutes at like 300 watts which is just over five watts per kilo per in so nothing crazy um just sort of i guess you know upper zone two low tempo for these boys on the climbs uh and then everything else was um pretty pretty standard so you know just a, a classic day out I guess warming the legs up uh then we have the day two which again as you'll go back to this is like four and a half hour, four hours 20 260 normalized so definitely a little bit harder um and you can see here We've got some interesting efforts. They're actually doing lactate testing today. So what they do generally with the lactate testing is they'll ride at like, you know, let's say they roughly know where the threshold is. So they do like 336. You know, this will be sub threshold, see where the lactate values are. Let's say it's like two, three, four millimole. Um, and then they'll look at the next one. So they'll do 365 watts. And what they do is at the top of the mountain, they'll just like take a little blood from their ear normally and analyze it like in um, portably. But you can do it in the lab, but obviously riding outside, you know, you're going to use a different power meter and often you can put more power out. So it's better to do um, testing in the field. Most people come to the conclusion. And then if we look at this one here again, he did um, like 380 watts, um, which is six and a half watts per kilo, which is, you know, probably round where threshold is for Shampoo Zan. I would imagine could be slightly over, but it gives them a good range. Generally, they do more steps, maybe like four steps and they go up 20 watts every time just to see it, um, exactly what it is. Um, and you can see here as well, he did a little effort, um, a sprint, a sort of a threshold, sub-threshold effort, followed by a sprint. Um, so a decent day of intensity. We can then go on to the next day, which is, I think he maybe just didn't upload his rest day rides because um, this again is like another four hour ride. So we missed like two days here. Um, and you can see there's some sprint efforts here. Like if we look on the left, five seconds at a thousand watts, which for a guy like him is, is pretty strong. But, but what it looks like, um, so early on, not doing too much, just generally sort of you know, 175 watts is not too crazy. Here again, we've got some sprint efforts, which is always good to see. Um, and then actually, these are the sort of main sets here. So you can see he was doing a sprint to begin with and then just riding at like a round threshold on the flat, um, maybe on his time drop back. I'm not 100% sure, it didn't specify. And then again, more sort of this time, the sprint at the end of the session, which I guess simulates a climb. These early races like GP Mass says, Okay, that finishes on the flat, but other ones, they often finish on climb, so it's good to see what numbers he can do at the end. Still hit 964 after riding probably at tempo, um, and then he does one more session. It's interesting he does it on the flat, um, not on the climb, but maybe that's what the boys wanted to focus on today. Maybe he knows he can do good power on the flat, on the climb, but not the flat as much. And again, similar things, and then go up one more climb, and this is actually a really strong effort here. Uh, 430 watts for five minutes, which is for him about 7.3 7 watts per kilo at the end of a a pretty solid day if we go uh, kilojoules wise it's like 2000 kilojoules ah, i guess not crazy for him but i guess he's quite small so again uh pretty pretty solid numbers from the boys so you can see just more threshold stuff generally nothing too crazily intense i mean obviously that last effort was but you're not you know it's, again you're not seeing huge volumes of intensity there's only like three or four eight minute efforts there it wasn't like ridiculous um again here this is sort of like a couple efforts here or there like 374 watts up this one um, this could be some time trial training potentially, uh, but again, like nothing crazy at the moment. Like he hasn't had any ridiculous days. A lot of this just seems to be just focusing on threshold, getting the endurance in and just definitely like ramping up the intensity. Then on day six, uh, again, st skipped a couple days, but this is like a more of a sort of classic endurance ride. 200 watts for him is like probably zone one. Um, you can see on the climbs a little bit harder on the on the flats a little bit easier so again just getting some getting six hours in at 200 watts which i mean like for me and you it's probably like up like 160 watts 170 watts like that's how easy they ride on zone two um or zone one days just because well they have the time but also what's the point you don't get much out of benefit and it also means that on the days you do need to go hard 
you can because this one is this is the test day which i, I said before so they, i think they had a rest day just before this um and you can see seven watts per kilo for 17 and a half minutes is really really strong there's no denying that and then he went up that bad away again and just wrote i guess like sub threshold um and just you know again 5.4 for 20 is is very very strong uh and then we're going off off towards the last couple of days here um still like you know long days 210k um power meter seems to be a little bit dodgy on this um, the climbing here is a little bit faster, you can see. So these days are more like just sort of tempo pressing on the pedal days um, than like his zone one real easy endurance days. And then um, I think they might swap switch to the TT bike um, at the end of it, hence the hence no power data. But yeah, six and a half hours, pretty solid day. This is the last one. It was like a race sim day, which was actually quite uh, quite interesting to see. So you can see over here, it was pretty hard uh, to start with 250 normalized. They did some sort of activations. Uh, and then they went up this climb. So they did like first time was like 420 watts. Then they did um, the next one at 440 watts. And then this last one he did at 466 watts at so 8 watts per kilo for three minutes. He actually beat Ben O'Connor by like two or three seconds. So I think Champions is going to do really, really well this year. Um, and then again, we can see uh, up this climb was more just like zone two. Um, and I think after that, it was more or less cruising home, I believe. Um, yeah, looks pretty, looks pretty chill. So yeah, that's what they end up doing. So you can see generally like there's quite a lot of hours. He didn't upload all his rides, but again, it's like, it was pretty interesting to see that like they didn't do any maybe standard efforts. Obviously he didn't have laps on, but a lot of it was just like, I guess, sub threshold, nothing too crazy. And you know, it's interesting to see how well he's going to go. His numbers look really impressive already, but he's not doing maybe 30, 15s, which you'd expect him to do, but maybe it's because he wants to peak later in the season. It's all, all sorts of things like that. Um, maybe also his weight's slightly wrong, maybe 61 kilos, which is what they say here. It's always hard to tell with people, but anyway, you can see, I mean, doing close to seven watts per kilo is, is very, very impressive. Um, and after that, you can see, so he did, uh, last week was sort of another like 21 hour block, which was pretty good, uh, to see from the boy. And then this week, I think, I assume he'll do a little bit easier, but even here, you can see here, like after that week, he did like only two, three hour rides, like a four hour ride there, but generally sort of, I guess, more of a taper week, just not having it crazy hard. And then so far this week, he's just done an 83 kilometer, three hour ride. So, you know, not, not too crazy. Um, but anyway, if you want me to, actually, it might be a bit crazy. Um, if you want me to do any more analysis of his rides, oh, he did five minutes at 430 watts, I was chatting. Um, I think he must have done, did a max effort up here or something. So that's pretty strong from the boy. And then up here again, just really pretty hard as well uh so actually did some quite hard intervals but anyway if you've got anyone else you want me to do uh their training data about i could do chat cake sometimes uploads their stuff um i may have some interesting intervals but yeah just let me know anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy this video if you've got any more ideas let me know i'll see you in the next one